the record button is? <laughs> All right, three o'clock. Hey, everybody. Um, welcome to Touch Base Fridays from Route 66. Adam and I are coming back from D.C. right now. Got out right before the rioting. That's good. Um, so, hello. Give them a shot of uh, Virginia. There we go. I don't know if you can see Virginia real well with the camera there. Okay, that's good. You're unplugging me. And now my, now my navigator's got to get lippy. Hey, so um, we're really happy you're here, as always. Uh, we've got some good content. We just don't have a desk, so uh, I'm going to have him shut this thing off. 81 South. Excuse me. I know this is annoying. We drove for 58 miles on the same highway, and as soon as 3 o'clock rolls around, i got to find an exit. All right, so um, cut the, uh, the camera for me. Yeah. Save. Don't torture you guys anymore. No, just kill, kill the camera so we save the bandwidth and don't scare the children. You got to do that? All right, cool. All right, go to the next slide. So um, we always try to make a big point in these webinars. By the way, sorry about the technical difficulties and sorry about the loss of continuity during the holidays. We're back on this again, and um, we're going to make sure these are really worth your time. And mainly it's because it's all about generating business and, and generating income in this SFR sector. And so um, as Adam and I were prepping for this in the car here, it was like, what have we learned from Bob and Jarrett? And I'm, by the way, I'm, I can't look at the slides, otherwise I'll crash. So I'm going to assume I'm going to hit most of these points. And if I don't, Adam will let, you know, let me know. But um, Bob, you've, if you've been on these webinars or if you haven't, I'm going to show you at the end of the webinar today where to go to see the videos of the previous ones if you're inclined. Uh, Bob and Jarrett are two guys that are out in the field in our network. They're probably on the webinar right now um, who are having some pretty exciting success. And then uh, Todd, Scott, and Ryan are the three guys that are in-house here with us uh, who are also having great success, and they have a few things in common. Um, we talk here every week about ideas of, being, of ways to find basically owners of single-family rentals. And at the end of the day, these, these people are all picking up the phone. All right, so they're using the detective work. They're going out and finding things on the Internet. They're finding things in tax records. Underline that, tax records. Um, making phone calls, having a friendly conversation. And um, having just gone through this with Todd, who is our newest guy, we just finished up the, uh, his launch and training and deployment over like a 10-day period. He went from brand new um, to actively engage with some pretty large potential clients. Um, and it's for picking up the phone and applying the things. Scott's doing the same. Ryan is doing the same. And, and Bob and Jaron. Okay? And we're trying to multiply that. The whole point of these sales meetings is to try to turn you into one of those people that I can put on this slide and, or, or unmute you because you've had some terrific early success. Getting that direct contact with the buyers and sellers or their brokers, but ideally the buyers and sellers. And remember, you're calling and the conversation it can be very easy if you're just saying, hey, I understand that you own multiple single-family rental properties. I see it here in the tax records. Um, I wondered if you had ever heard about Own America because we have this investment management technology called the Portfolio Visualizer. It can tell you what your portfolio is worth, and it can help you uh, instantly to see it in vivid color in three dimensions, charts and graphs and calculators and maps and pictures, all for free, all practically instant. All I need from you is a, a spreadsheet. Would you be interested in opening that account? and checking it out. They say yes, you figure out, you get that spreadsheet, you work, watch our videos, figure out how to get it in, it's not that hard, it can be a pain in the ass, but it isn't usually. Um, and then once it's in there, you go and you show the customer. And 100% of the time, without fail, they're gonna say, that's really cool. And they're gonna be happy, and they're gonna be in a good place for you to say, would you be interested in us trying to find a buyer for you if you were thinking about selling, or you wanna double up and buy some more SFR, I can find some things for you. Conversation is not hard. The people don't, they don't mind being approached because they really don't get approached. So it's not like you're just the latest guy or gal to call them and hassle them about SFR. They never get that call. And so they're not, they're not pushback oriented. So um, just do it okay. <laughs> when, when we get a portfolio and then we work the portfolio, it's like the old school real estate thing. If you get a piece of inventory, and then you work the inventory. You get the hammer and you hit the anvil with it. You're going to find buyers. If you don't have inventory right now, go looking for it through the method I just talked about. Um, and you know what? Do me a favor, Adam, flip to the last slide because 
I want to remind everybody, I was going to do it at the end, but I'll do it now. SFRcertification.com is the URL for the partner portal. Usually we direct everybody to go log into your account and own America, go to your dashboard and, and go to the partner portal. But I just want you to know that there's a direct URL, SFRcertification.com. It's not, it's not where you go to buy the certification, it's where you go when you have it. Um, and we have an archive of all this stuff, and we also have tutorials with videos, and we have documents. You want to go to it, by the way? I think they have it back there um, in Chrome. When guys that work in Own America full-time start, the first thing they do is they go through the three-hour certification training. So the first morning is three hours of listening to me talk. Um, and, and they don't run away at the end, which is I'm always worried someone's going to say, I can't stand to hear this guy's voice anymore. But... So they do the certification, and then they go to the, um, if you go over to the Touch Base Fridays tab up there, they go there, and here's all the videos, and they just start, they go in chronological order. If you want to get engaged in this, like if you really want to have the kind of success, Jared is, I don't want to jinx it, but we're going to be reporting some big transactions as a result of a couple of months worth of effort from him and his team. Um, if you go to the bottom, you can watch these in succession since we launched. And that's the second part of the training. When guys come to work here, they start with the certification, then they watch an hour or two of video a day for the balance of the first week. So they're fully caught up. And in every one of these, we're trying to share the tidbits that are working, the ideas that have come up, who's doing what. You'll find all the stuff detailed on those. So take it as an extension of the certification. If you haven't done this, if this is the first time you've been on the webinar, or if uh, you've, it's been spotty, or whatever, if you want a, a shot in the arm, this is a way that we offer up for you to go and get that, okay? Um, our mission here is to multiply the excitement uh, and the success. So to have people like Bob and now Jarrett, we were excited because Bob was the first. We were really excited because Jarrett showed that it was repeatable. If people with, with some skills and some talent and some energy and professionalism apply themselves to this market, um, you will do well. And I'm talking about... Thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar commissions, hundred, two hundred thousand dollar commissions. These things are happening. Uh, it's crazy, and there are seven figure commissions that are potentially out there. We're working on things like that. You could find yourself in the middle of something like that. Life changing event. Okay, so bounce back over, please, down into the slideshow, so I remember what I'm supposed to do next. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to fill you in on Ben Carson a little more. I think I talked about him a couple of weeks ago. Um, again, it's not a political thing. It's okay. He's the new HUD secretary. What's he likely to do? How might it impact us? And I hoped that it would be beneficial if you watched his confirmation hearings or read some things that he said when people pressed him for specifics. He believes in public-private partnership for affordable housing. A translation of public-private partnership for affordable housing is cheap FHA loans pushed out the door to real estate investors. Okay? If there are people out there that are looking at six and seven percent interest rates, they could be looking at three and four and five percent. And let me tell you, if, if FHA simply made some modifications to their typical single-family loan and made it available limitless to investors, um, that would be a bombshell. Uh, if they took their multifamily product, which is very popular for apartment buildings, apartment complex owners. Uh, and just allowed people to apply single family to that without any real restriction, you're talking about a bomb going off of new capital flowing into this business. People, half the investors in the country own all cash. They will take cheap FHA refinances out and buy twice as many houses. Okay, There's going to, there will be a lot of activity. So we were happy to see that, and we're happy to see that what they're what he seems to be doing is saying there's a lot of good ideas out there, we're going to find them, we're going to apply the ones, we're going to try things. That's kind of the approach. And if they try things by putting cheap money in the hands of our clients, um, you're going to find that it's going to open a lot of um, avenues of new clientele for you. So we're encouraged about that. And it's just another reason to, um, to put your back into it. You know, like don't go spend four hours showing somebody condos, please. All right? Spend four hours working on this stuff and see if you can get, you can, you know, get ignition. All right, so what's the next thing? Okay, yeah. Um, this we've already talked about, but I wanted to tell you it's happening every week that uh, all of the big institutional investors in the country have come to the conclusion that one of the things they learned in the last four years since this feeding frenzy of investment in single family rentals is that unless you're getting a deep discount, you do not buy vacant. Okay? 
If you're going to pay close to market price or market price, buy it occupied because it changes everything. It means you're cash flowing on day one and the impact that low vacancy has on the performance of a portfolio, you cannot underestimate it. It is the game changing thing. So every one of some of them are still buying on MLS. Some of them are still buying through other sources vacant. But every one of them wants to see everything that we can find for them that meets their buy box. Um, and that's not a trend that we see changing. What people are discovering is that buying vacant homes and turning them into investments is not as good as buying investment properties that are already investment properties. It sounds so obvious that it's almost dopey to say out loud, but I just said something profound and revolutionary that you should buy investment property if you want to buy investment property instead of buying a house and turning it into an investment property, right? which is what everybody has done for generations until all of a sudden now we've illuminated the reality that there's a way to do this that's better, lower risk, better return, more intelligent, um, et cetera, et cetera. So um, anything else on bullets on that? All right, I think that was it for that. So um, what we try to do here is lay out. I don't know. Go, go back over there. If, um, pull the people up again. Usually this is happening sort of in the background. You don't hear me muttering about it, but I've got to work with Adam's fingers here. Um, if you have any questions, um, can you give a high five? Just let me know, by the way. I, I never asked in the beginning, are you hearing this? And is the sound okay? And are you guys all still there? You get any high fives? Yeah, high fives. Okay, we get some high fives. Okay, good. Uh, Question section. Expand that. Um, if anybody has any, we can try. I'm going to try to keep my eye on the road here. But if you've got a question, you can type it in. If you already have Adam, we'll take a look at it right now. And we'll see if you can answer that. Otherwise, this is going to be the shortest touch base Friday meeting ever. Doesn't look like we have much. Okay, so look. Um, I would love it if everybody on this call um, worked for Own America, which meant that we were paying you to come to work every morning and hit the phones and hit the internet and find owners. Because if I was paying you to do it, you'd come in tomorrow morning and you'd do it. Our guys, this is what they do for a living. They show up and they start looking for opportunities and they find them. Everybody who's tried has, it, has found them. Some people have found them very quickly. Some have had to per persevere um, and press themselves. But I don't think we have any examples of anybody who's striking out. So um, if there are, I want you to touch base with us as, you know, offline. Email me, greg at ownamerica.com. Tell me what roadblocks you're hitting. We'll see if we can loosen those up. Uh, and lastly, I forgot to say this before, the process that what we learn from all the guys and gals that we're working with right now is that they apply themselves with some of the things that we talk about that have been proven, but they bring us in. If what is holding you back is an intimidation factor that it just doesn't, it's never a good day to feel out of your element, right? It's never a good day to feel, to, to, to feel like you, you might be made to look stupid because you don't know what you're talking about, okay? I, nobody wants to stick themselves in that situation. So don't, all right? Have the initial conversation about the visualizer and then give us a ring and let's tie in on a conference call. So let us be the ones that when you get the portfolio up to uploaded, we'll show it to the client with you on a go-to meeting. Um, you'll hear the way we talk about it. You'll hear how they respond, which will encourage you to want to go repeat that as soon as you can because it's a really delightful experience to be appreciated. Um, but bring us in, okay? Let us help you get these first couple of conversations out of the way. And uh, what's been happening is that everybody starts off that way. And then, you know, before you know it, they're just doing it without us. And we're being notified when deals are coming together. All right. So um, make this a great week. Um, actually, it's over. I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, thanks for being here. I hope this road version wasn't too distracting or annoying. Hopefully, you like the fact that it was short. And uh, we'll be back here again 3 o'clock on Friday. Okay, go get them. Have a great week. And <laughs> bye.